Now let's look at plane geometry with a focus on area and perimeter. We're going to look at understanding what the area means and what the perimeter means and we're going to apply that to squares, rectangles, parallelograms and triangles. So the perimeter is the distance around a two-dimensional shape. So look at this right here. So the perimeter, you can call it the boundaries of a shape. The boundaries of a two-dimensional shape. And then the area is the size of the surface. It typically represents what the amount of space that can fit inside of a two-dimensional object. So let's give some good examples. So if this was a room, if this right here was a room the perimeter would be walking on the edges of the room walking on the edges around the room but if this was the room for the area would be filling the room with stuff that would give you a general idea of how your area works now let's look at squares they have four sides and all sides are equal. The area of a square is S squared because all sides are equal, we use S and the perimeter is S multiplied by four. So what are the area and perimeter of a square with a, with a side length of 12 meters? So let's look at perimeter. Perimeter is side length times four, which is gonna give us 12 meters times four which is 48 meters and then area is going to give us side squared which is 12 centimeters squared which is going to give us 144 sorry 12 meters squared it's going to give us 144 square meters so the area of a square the area of a square is so the area of this square is 121 square centimeters 121 square centimeters we want to find out what the perimeter is so to get the perimeter the perimeter is side times 4 but area is side squared. So let's do this. We substitute side squared is equal to 121 square centimeters. Now to find the value of the side, we're going to take the square root of both sides. So the side is 11 centimeters. So therefore the perimeter is 11 centimeters multiplied by four which is going to give us 44 centimeters. Now let's look at rectangle. A rectangle has four sides. It has two pairs of equal sides. Your area is your length times your width and your perimeter is the sum of all the sides. So you're going to have two lengths and two widths and you add them together. What are the area and perimeter of a rectangle with a side length? So we have a length is 12 meters and the width is 7 meters. So our area is going to be length times width, which is 12 meters times 7 meters, which is going to give us 84 square meters. The perimeter is going to be 2 multiplied by the sum of the length and the width, which is going to give us 2 multiplied by 12 plus 7, which is 2 times 19, which is 38 meters. So the area is 84 square meters and the perimeter is 38 meters. Now we have a rectangle with a length of 12 and an area of 72. So area is length times width. Now we have an area of 72 
and a length of 12 times width. So let's divide this by 12. So 6 is the width. So here are the dimensions of the rectangle. Length is 12. Width is 6. Let's use centimeters here. So the perimeter is 2 multiplied by the sum of the length and the width, which is 2 multiplied by 12 plus 6, 2 times 18, which is 36 meters. Let's look at the parallelogram. The parallelogram has four sides. We have two pairs of equal parallel sides. The area of the parallelogram is base times height, and the perimeter is the sum of all the sides. So what are the area and perimeter of a parallelogram with sides 10 centimeters and 6 centimeters with a height of 5 centimeters? So our area is base times height, which is going to give us 10 times 5, which is 50 square centimeters. And then our perimeter is 2 multiplied by, we have our length and our width, which is going to be 2, multiplied by 10 plus 6, 2 times 16, which is 32 centimeters. A triangle has three sides. The area of the triangle is one half of the base times height, and the perimeter is the sum of the sides. In another set lesson, we'll look at the different types of triangles, because we have triangles that have all equal sides. We have triangles where two sides are equal. We also have triangles where none of the sides is equal. So let's look for the area, the area of this triangle, area. So, area is going to be one half base times height. Our base right here is 12. One half of 12 times 8. So, this we divide this, we get a 4. 12 times 4 is 48 square centimeters. And then our perimeter is the sum of all the sides. So that's going to be 10 plus 10 plus 12, which is going to give us 32 centimeters. So this is how you deal with area and perimeter of plane shapes.